Oh, hey guys, what's up? Seymour and Rizzo. Me, Johnny Roque. Yo, I don't know what's up with all these Clipper fans. Are, like, Clipper fans are coming out of nowhere. It's like they're coming out of the closet. Like, I'm a Clipper fan. No, I am. <laughs> they're going to be having Clipper pride parades. Well, they didn't make enough merchandise for all the Clipper fans that are coming out at the moment. This they're is kind like, I need this sweater. I didn't have one last year. Let me have one this year. Clipper fans are like hipsters, man. Like, they're all jumping on the bandwagon because it's cool now. Yeah, our Clipper fans are like British people who decided to become Americans when the Revolutionary War ended. Clipper fans are like Mexicans that say they're uh, Spanish or Argentinian. Clipper fans are like poor people that think they're rich because they got extra EBT money at the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Clipper fans remind me of when like Michael Jackson died, rest in peace, King of Pop. Bro, everybody hated Michael Jackson before. And then after he died, everybody just started like loving him again. I've always liked Michael Jackson. I I don't care if you even touch someone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's, it's stupid. It's like if Sandusky died, and everybody's like, oh Sandusky, we love you. Stupid. Like Clipper fans. <laughs> Clipper fans are like Penn State fans. Who work at Baby Gap? <laughs> what? <laughs> that makes. Sense. Didn't Sandusky coach at Penn State? Yeah. That's why. I don't understand. <laughs> at first, I didn't understand the whole like Penn State thing because I heard about Sandusky and like touching. I thought he was touching freaking uh, grown football players out of college. How could like I was like, how could these football players not kick this old guy's ass? I was confused in the beginning. I, I was okay. I was like, yeah, these football players are getting touched. You have to make money for scholarships somehow. <laughs> but, yeah, Clipper fans, man. Everybody's jumping the bandwagon right now. It's kind of like when uh, who became cool recently. Uh, it's kind of like when Dubstep started becoming cool. Oh, I love Dubstep, like, Nobody man. knew about Dubstep, but all of a sudden it comes out and people are like shooting free throws and saying, I love the Clippers. It's kind of like we're back when like nobody really likes skinny jeans. Like skinny jeans are stupid, and everybody started wearing skinny jeans. Yeah, or it's kind of like back when nobody knew about anime, and oh. you bring out your anime folder. They punk your ass. And they better go hang out with the Japs, and you're like, "What are you talking about? You're a teacher. You can't tell me." <laughs> <laughs> now everybody likes anime. That's how it was, man. You know what? I think Clipper fans are they have heart, man. Clipper fans have hope. They don't have so much heart, because if they did, they'd be winning more games. But they have hope. Yeah, man, this whole Clipper and L.A., I mean, Clippers and Lakers thing is starting like a big civil war. Like, man, go back to L.A., Clippers. No, you go back to L.A., Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> you go back to your side of the Staples Center. <laughs> and the Lakers are like, really, how many championships are in the Staples Center <laughs> that are ours? But, yeah, I think they're more. Or... Uh, Clipper fans are like movie goers that only have Netflix. No. <laughs> that? I think that's it. But yeah, that was a good uh, little rant. The Johnny and Martin rant. We're going to cut that up? Yeah, cut that up. All right, so, all right guys, that was the Johnny and Martin rant. Uh, see you next time. Happy 2012. Uh, yeah, see you guys. <laughs> Happy 2012, right? Yeah.